Good morning, friends. So it is Bear's first day with us, or first morning day with us. So we got her last night. She's so calm. She's so good. She woke up once last night, and and that was it um, because she had an accident. So I ended up giving her a bath in the middle of the night because she was just uh, soaked. Um, and I didn't want to just put her back to bed. So I had a heater. We were here at the fireplace. Um, heater and then blow dryer. So kept her really nice and warm. And she was so curly. <laughs> but this is all she does. Not bear. I call her bear. Yeah, I call her bear. I've always wanted a dog named Bear, whether it was a girl or a boy. But the kids named her Mocha, so she is Mocha Bear, but she goes by Bear. Aloha, friends. Good morning. <laughs> I just dropped off uh, Danica at the bus, <laughs> at the bus, and then uh, Miss Mary stopped by for coffee. And then so now Costco just opened, so I'm heading out to Costco. I look so far away. But um, I need to buy a bulk Costco size of pee pads for Bear. We're just calling her Bear for now because I know that I want her name to be Bear. Because whether I got a boy dog or a girl dog, um, I knew that I was going to call um, my dog Bear. Because I watch, um, what's this show called? It's a homestead show where she does her, she has a farm and she has this big dog. And I think her dog is a German Shepherd. But she always called her dog um, Bear, and then the dog would always follow her around and protect her. And she was like, wherever she was vlogging, what was the name of it? I forgot what her name, her channel is. She she's the channel where I used um, I used to watch to be able to learn um, to garden. Oh, Roots and Refuge, Roots and Refuge. Um, so she has a dog uh, named Bear. They, I stopped watching when they moved to South Carolina. But uh, yeah, so that's why I wanted Bear to be Bear. And so, and then the this Golden Doodle, I heard when I was doing the research that it's 50-50. You're either going to get a super hyper dog or super calm dog. And I think that she's a super calm dog. But she was so good last night. She went to bed about 8 30 i heard her cry out um because she was downstairs in a crate right next to java i heard her cry about i think it was like 12 30 and so when i picked her up i noticed that um her she has a um snuggle pup i think it's what it's called it's really it was amazing so it opens up and then you're able to put a heating pad in there so it comes with a heating pad and then i'm gonna park so far away this is what i do friends when i use hubby's truck i gotta park so far away but uh it also came with a, a heartbeat like a and then it comes with a battery of like triple a and so the heartbeat you can hear it we really feel it um and hear it but the heartbeat will stay on for about four hours or consistent and so i think that's what really helped her because before we put her down we had her on our chest and then we had the snuggle pup uh, teddy bear so she got accustomed to the the snuggle pup you know being on top of it but I think the only other reason that she woke up is because she peed so 12 30 I turned on the heater I cleaned because she's still so tiny so I cleaned up my kitchen um took out all the dishes that was around um and then I gave her a bath because I have a very deep sink and she's so tiny. And so I had it on warm water and then I had the blow dryer. I was blow drying her, keeping her nice and warm, even though it's 1230 because she, she peed all over. And I'm OCD. If I'm going to hold her, um, <laughs> she goes potty and then I, I get a baby wipe and wipe her booty and her paws. But she's doing really, really good. She's really, um, Java is teaching her our ways. Because Java is, um, he's not allowed to jump on the sofa. Um, he's not allowed to just like, um, 
like go upstairs so he knows like i i have we have dogs and we love our dogs um but there are certain things that has to work for our family and so what works for me because of my issues i have issues friends it's not the pets it's me but um i don't like the dogs roaming around everywhere because i don't know where they pee or poop kind of thing and you know <laughs> i don't like putting your face like some people sleep with their dogs and i don't mind that maybe i'll try that with um with bear because bear is like doesn't shed i just don't like seeing all the dog hairs everywhere um i don't know if it's because and and hubby has so much allergies and the kids have so much allergies and the kids have eczema which is why I, I was always so picky with uh, Java not being on the sofa, not being on the carpet, not being on the bed because their skin, like Danielle's skin is so, so bad. So bad. Um, I don't know if she has, it's always just eczema, but I, I kind of think that she has psoriasis because there are times during the winter that it's so bad. I mean, rashes and hive looking thing everywhere. And sometimes you see her on her neck and then her eyes which is why I'm very careful of where the dogs can go. And then this dog, the next type of dog, which is um, Golden Doodle. Um, she is F1B. So I think it's 50%, 50% Poodle, 50% Golden Retriever. We got her from a breeder. And yes, I could have gotten another dog um, at the pound and rescued a dog that's fine and everything i i'm all for that 100 percent. but i have like i said my kids and my husband and myself i have ocd <laughs> in order for our family to work in its dynamic i have to have certain things certain ways and i didn't i don't want to just adopt a dog and not give it it give the dog its full potential of love and care if it doesn't work out for our family and that is why I chose to spend $2,300 on a dog because it has to work for us because if it doesn't work for us then it's a tug in war and that's stressful to us and that's stressful to the pet um, which is why we couldn't get a cat because I have PTSD with cats we're going everywhere with this story but when I was young around Danica's age we stayed with my grand uh, grandparents for I think two months when my dad was in the Navy in Westpac and she had a lot of cats she had like five cats and I was new to the pet because we didn't have pets growing up well not until later on and it was a dog but we never had cats and I took a nap on her sofa I woke up and there was like three cats on top of me and I freaked out again I was Danica's age when I freaked out I got scratched all over because then the, the cat panicked I got scratched all over and so ever since then I'm like scared of cats and Danica wants to have a cat but if I get a cat I feel like it's not the dynamic it's not gonna work because of my PTSD with the cat um, so anywho friends I'm at Costco nine minutes later I'm at Costco I'm gonna get PP pads and oh dishwashing detergent and I'm not gonna spend a lot of money. Four items is what I need, and that's This is it. where I park. Like, see, look, I have no one near me. <laughs> but this is Washington, friends. Like, it's trees everywhere. Pine trees everywhere you go. It's beautiful. Like, this is Costco, and I don't even know how many pine trees there are around here. Just, just within this area right here. It's like a little forest to some. Like, because I came from California to where it was mostly like flat land where there were no trees. And just to see this is so beautiful to me. Okay, this is a good find. I'm gonna buy this one. It's 30 handcrafted uh, greeting cards because we are so bad greeting cards, but look how beautiful they are. Uh, basically 50 cents a card. So they're 3D, three dimensional, okay. So pretty cute. Oh, look at that one. But yeah, look at this one. Happy birthday. So we got birthday. 
um, this one, donuts. Look at the dog. Friends, I said four items, but I already have a rug for $12.99. This is nice because um, Java and Bear can just lay on here and then I can take it outside and hose it down. Another bin and then the card. <laughs> oh, Costco. Costco. $8.79. How pretty vanity with a stool and then you have a matching oh, no this is not matching because the hardwares are different but that is so affordable compared to like the pottery barn that I had wanted to get super nice mm. Um, I've never tried this $16.79 salted egg salmon skin. Well, I love salmon skin. Uh, salted egg. So if you guys have ever tried this, let me know. But look at these. It's a money bank. For um, Chinese New Year, $29.99. It's $20 off. So that's a great deal. But is it just a bank bank? Ooh. Oh, yeah. See? Money goes there. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Super cool. Alex store. Because you know what? They only have five. Alex? Uh, yeah, the, the Alex okay. store. Okay. Yeah, it's very popular. Yes. Remember when I wanted another one? They ran out. Good morning, friends. <laughs> Good morning. I, every time Miss Mary and I are together, every time we talk, I always say, oh, I should have filmed this. And I said, as a business <laughs> expense, I need to get us GoPro. It's just in our heads. Camera right there, dead center. <laughs> because every time. And then I miss it. And then I, I, it's not the same when you reword it or rephrase it or redo it. Anyways, Miss Mary's already driving me crazy. <laughs> I've only coffee? been in the car three minutes. Oh, jeez. She already needs coffee. She's already. <laughs> okay, first it's the lunch, lunch um, money lunch money i said use an app she goes I can't. remember miss mary oh miss mary has good news she has 5g phone now <laughs> you told them yes they oh, know oh my god they know all about miss I mary miss my vintage phone i did tell them that when we went to um get our phone last year <laughs> i forgot his name but the t-mobile guy yeah we make friends everywhere but the t-mobile guy goes saw her phone and said whoa this is vintage <laughs> yes apparently my sim card was vintage too uh, oh and miss mary has had this phone for a year because she bought it in california when she was out there visiting because she dropped her phone somewhere and it wasn't working so she bought a new phone i, I didn't drop it and noah she, and nick knocked me in and i was trying to take a picture of the ocean and they knocked my phone into the water so it's their fault so she bought that brand new phone last year with 2022 springtime and just got it activated January, not even December, right? Well, I managed to revive my other phone. It was Her working. vintage phone. <laughs> I love that phone. That vintage phone. <laughs> How many times have you been reviving it? Oh, quite two. It was on, um, yeah. It's like a cat with nine lives, but it's a phone. <laughs> See, this is why I said I always have to have our phone on. Okay, we need to have it like here. So when we're talking. Okay, first of all, we're going to go to Ikea because. I need something to organize my hair and yeah. makeup stuff. And, and Miss Mary cut her. Well, she didn't cut her hair. She flattened her hair. And look how cute she is. How many layers of clothing do you have, woman? I'm One, two, three, four. I am super cold right now. And I got PJs on. <laughs> I'm going to Ikea and I'm going to be comfy. And I don't care what anybody says. But I do have my... I got this from Old Navy during COVID 2021. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, like eight bucks. And then I got my Aries pants. Oh yeah, those are the okay. ones I got. No, These are pants. so comfy. Oh my gosh. Yeah. They're pajama pants, but I'll call them lounge wear. So I want to lounge around in Ikea. See, this is why I said I always got to film. Now we only need a snowstorm to hit so we can get stuck there. Oh, Miss Mary wants us to get stuck in <laughs> Ikea. She was watching the news that some lady got stuck in what, Target? Yeah, Target and Buffalo. Target would be a good place too because they got food. Well, Ikea got food. Yeah, Ikea's got then food. Third, well, they got cookies. And Swedish meatballs. Well, it'll be frozen because 
Um, Unless we cook it ourselves. Oh, yeah. Well, that, that we would have to remind you because okay. Yes. I was telling Miss Merritt the last time we were at IKEA that um, we need to hide in a bin somewhere <laughs> when they're about to close, and when they make an announcement, we're closing. Shh. <laughs> and then once everything is dark, then um, isn't that that movie Big when they got um, locked into the? Oh, in, the no, mannequin, the, mannequin. Yeah, the mannequin one. That was like the 1980s. Some of you guys may not know. Old. But anywho, oh, I gotta buy Lotto. 1.1 billion. Okay, we gotta buy Lotto today. Okay, we're going to Safeway. We're buying Lotto. Okay. I'm not gonna buy Starbucks. I have water, so that's five. Uh, let's let's just round it up to ten. What? Ten dollar Lotto. Ten dollar Lotto. I never win, but still, I can't win if I don't play. All right, friends, we're going to get breakfast and we're going to Ikea. So I'm going to be making a quick lunch for hubby, Jonathan, and myself. I got, um, I washed some potatoes, sliced it, put it into the microwave for about, I think, three minutes just to soften it up a bit or pre-cook it a bit before I um, put it into the oven because it just takes forever to cook uh, raw potatoes uh, for me. Um, I seasoned it with a little bit of salt and pepper, put garlic powder, and then I love these um, truffle parmesan and black garlic. I got this over at Costco. And then also for Christmas, my mother-in-law and father-in-law gave us um, Omaha Steaks um, box. So I added some of that into the potatoes and then also um, added some cheese put butter under the potatoes uh, when I put in the foil, added some more butter throughout. I just put a little dab in here and there. I'm gonna add some more. And then also put more cheese on top, bake it. I don't know, let's just say 15 to 20 minutes. And then I have a foil so it's easy cleanup. And then once it's done, I'm gonna move it aside so that I can put another foil in there again for easy cleanup. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning, but hubby's already asking for lunch because he, start, he starts work at six. So I pre-cooked this yesterday, like um, this is the Omaha steak that we had gotten. Actually, hubby did, so that's why it's a little brown, but it's okay. Um, it's still good, but just with butter and garlic and then um, the Omaha steak seasoning last night, and then what I'm gonna do is when this is done or almost done, I'm just gonna basically preheat this um, on here and save me some washing, washing dishes, okay? So that is what we're having for lunch. And friends, again, Costco pizza saves the day because I get Costco pizza like once a week. Um, if the kids are not up for it, it's okay. I get it pre-sliced and then put it into the freezer so they can have it as like a after activity snack, after school snack kind of thing. And then I get the, the red crush, uh, red pepper as well as like the Parmesan cheese and then I save it and then I can use it because <laughs> I'm out, I'm out. I need to buy some at Costco. I usually buy this um, size over at Costco and a bread bell pepper or the crushed red pepper. So I need to get some of those. Um, I'll sprinkle this on top and then put it into the oven. Okay, so here is the potatoes. It's nice and cooked. And then here is my plate. Uh, since it's lunch, I like to just have a little portion. This is actually my brunch because I didn't have breakfast. Just coffee, 